Have you ever spent hours creating a piece of content, maybe a video or writing a blog post or an article on LinkedIn even, and you get so frustrated because you spend all this time and energy writing this piece of content and then no one sees it. It's like crickets chirping when you publish it. In this video, you're going to learn three simple questions that you should ask yourself before you press record or before you sit down to write another word. These three simple questions will have a huge impact on your ability to get your content marketing seen. Your business is about to be richer. Hi, I'm Jen and this channel and this video is all about helping you learn how to market yourself so that you can build a business you love based off of your expertise and make an impact on those that you are called to serve. The first question to ask yourself before you create any content marketing for your business is what is the ultimate goal of this piece of content? Is it to be found in search? Is it to create a piece of shareable content that can be shared by your community, the people that already know, like, and trust you? Or is the purpose of the piece of content to, dr to drive sales or to drive inquiries into your business? When you know what the ultimate purpose and the ultimate goal of that piece of content is, it will be much easier for you to create that content in a way that it will get you the desired result. For example, my goal with my new YouTube channel that you're subscribed to right now is that each video will help me be found in YouTube search by people that don't already know, like, and trust me. I'm using the YouTube channel and creating video content here every week in order to feed the YouTube algorithm and give YouTube what it wants so that it can serve my videos to more people that I want to serve. So that ultimate goal has changed my strategy quite a bit. You'll notice that I don't make any sales offers at the end of my videos. I don't have any other call to action other than subscribe or like the video. So here's an example of how this works in real life. Recently, I created a video that was a ClickFunnels review uh, video and I put it on my YouTube channel. And within a couple days of me publishing that video, I received a, uh, a message from a, an executive at ClickFunnels. And this executive at ClickFunnels reached out to me and wanted to talk to me about growing my affiliate program with ClickFunnels, which was super cool and I'm excited about that. While I was talking to him, I started sharing with him how my business model is, is built, basically, and the services that I provide to my clients. And he was so impressed with one of my services called a magazine funnel that he ran that idea all the way up the chain of command to the very, very top at ClickFunnels and I'm getting attention and being asked to share my ideas with the ClickFunnels community from the CEO of ClickFunnels. And that never would have happened if I wouldn't have created the YouTube video on ClickFunnels and optimized it for search so that I could be uh, seen on YouTube, found on YouTube and heard. And I'll go ahead and link that ClickFunnels video up above just in case you're curious and you wanna check it out. The second question to ask yourself before you create any more pieces of content marketing is, what is the very specific problem that this video blog post podcast, what is the very specific problem that this is going to solve for the person on the other end? My encouragement to you is to do lots of research before you press record or lots of research before you sit down and write another blog post and make sure that that specific piece of content is going to solve a relevant, timely issue or problem that your listener, viewer, or uh, reader has. This will ensure that your content will be uh, consumed and shared and will help you ultimately reach your ultimate goal, which is creating content that serves a purpose and helps people. A third question to ask yourself before you create any more content marketing materials, videos, podcasts, or shows, or blog posts is what are the specific case studies, stories, or examples I can share in the content to make it more relevant? Stories sell. And so that's why at the beginning of this video, I shared the story of one of my videos being discovered by a ClickFunnels executive. That is a real tangible and inspiring element that I've added to the piece of content. If I would have just come on this video and shared you shared with you the three questions, the video would be okay, but it's actually made better by sharing a true relevant story that you can use to inspire yourself. 
So those are the three questions you should ask yourself before creating another piece of content marketing to help you grow your business. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned at least one thing, would you go ahead and give me a thumbs up on this video? Ensure that you're subscribed so that you get the notifications when the new videos come out every week. Remember, if you learn marketing, you can grow your business. So for that reason, I will see you on the next video.